Hey guys, so today's video will just be a short video on how I package my Etsy orders like this. Stay tuned for the video. So the first thing that I use are these clear self-sealing bags. I bought them from Amazon and I believe they were about $9.99 for 100 of them. And I just use these to put my shirts in the inside. So I'll fold my shirt up and I have one actually in the bag. I'll show you guys. I fold my shirt up and then I put it into the self-sealing bag. And then on top of this, I put a thank you card. So these are the thank you cards that I have for my business and I made them myself on Canva and then I printed them out myself as well. So if you don't know what Canva is, it's just a website where they have a whole bunch of different types of templates for marketing, business, or just like everyday stuff. And you can just make your own business cards on there for free. So I take my thank you cards and then I put them on top of the shirt. And then I just close my package up like this. And then once it's closed, the part where it's self-sealed, I like to take stickers that I purchased these from Amazon as well. Everything that I talk about in this video today will be in the description box below. So most of the stuff is from Amazon. So I like to take a sticker and then just place this right here where it self-sealed itself. So just like this. Then I'll take my mailers that I purchased from Amazon as well. And these came in four different colors. I don't have the white one right now, but it was four different colors and they were $11.99 for a hundred of them. I like to take one of these and just put my shirt inside of the mailer. So these mailers are super durable. Like I use these kind of all year round and it's the same brand. I'm not sure what the brand is, but like I said, I'll put it below and you guys can just check them out yourself. After I um, have my mailers, I'll just close it up. So once this is closed up, it's only one thing left to do, and that's to put the shipping label on top of it. So I do use the Avery shipping labels, and this came with about 50 in the pack, and they're inkjet and laser jet approved. So you can use this on either of your printers. I don't have a thermal printer, only because I can't justify that cost. Like $180 is really a lot. So I'm just going with these Avery shipping labels for right now, but I'll take my shipping labels. They come two on each piece of paper. So you'll just tear it like this and they have the sticky back in already. So you don't have to tape your shipping labels to the bag or nothing. And I'll just take it, put it on my bag like this. And then I'll add another thank you sticker to the bag. So it'll look like this. So this is how I package my Etsy order, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.